I know it's been way too long, yeah I've been on the low, just counting up Focused on the paper, not no feelings, show no love Brand new vibes, get me a light What's going on YouTube today? I'm going to be bringing you guys along through my post-workout routine. So this video is not going to be just my post-workout uh, routine. It's also going to be uh, a video of a leg workout that you guys can do using dumbbells only. I just have my warm up. I hope you guys have seen that. Make sure you're getting your warm ups in before your workouts. It's the best way to free up your muscles and you know maximize your workout. And the post-workout routine is um, going to be after my workout. So I'll show you guys, or I'll bring you guys along on my own personal post-workout routine. Honestly, I'll advise everyone to implement some sort of post-workout routine. You don't have to follow every single thing that I'm going to show you guys today, but at least some of them, you know? If you can do all of them, even better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and crush my legs, completely annihilate them, and I'll see you guys during the post-workout routine. Let's do this, y'all. <laughs> marks the end of that dumbbell only leg workout. Let me know if you guys have any questions about that routine. You know, I know most of you guys already know this, but the legs tend to build up uh, lactic acid a lot more than most other parts of the body. So you tend to, you know, have sore thighs and sore butt. So what I like to do to cool down is slow walking on, you know, a treadmill or up the stairs, up and down the stairs. Cause if you don't have a treadmill, you got to improvise, you know, cool down for like five minutes, you know, just kind of get the blood, uh, the, the heart rate slow. All right, so I'm finished with the treadmill. So I cooled down my um, body temperature and my heart rate. It's now kind of back to normal. What's next for me usually around this point is uh, to work with a massage gun. So before I had a massage gun, what I would usually use is one of these foam rollers. So these things are great for freeing up tight muscles, especially when your muscles are still warm, you know, especially after a workout. Those are the best times, you know, uh, to use a massage gun or a, um, a foam roller. So what this does, or, you know, the foam roller, is it helps me avoid or reduce soreness the next day, as well as, you know, prevents injury that could result 
from tight muscles. You know, it's good for recovery in general. You want to implement stuff like this into your routines. You don't need to do it for too long. You know, five minutes, roll out the, you know, the major muscles you train and you should be good. So. All right, that's it. Just five minutes, maybe one minute, um, you know, for each major body part. And then you could put you know, your foam roller or your massage gun away. Next stop for me here is a protein shake, but not a protein shake. This is a DIY shake because I don't use any supplements. I've said this multiple times on, you know, in most of my videos, I say it every single time. People keep asking me. I don't personally use any supplements currently, you know, but I used to use them in the past. We're not going into that in this video. Maybe I'll do a different video talking about supplements and my experience with it. I have nothing against them. They're great, as a matter of fact, you know, for certain, you know, reasons uh, when used right. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my DIY shake. So you can have a protein shake if you have that around this point. So between 15 to 30 minutes after your workout is when you wanna kinda aim for that. At least that's what I kinda aim for, uh, you know, to get the best out of it. But we live in some, no arms license and still we stick to our guns. Okay, so the final thing I like to do to round up the day uh, after my training is get a good meal, you know, before bed, at least um, about one to two hours after my training. I've got right here some sweet potato and uh, ground turkey skillet, so it's got a lot of uh, protein and it's got a good amount of carbs. So sweet potatoes and lean ground turkey. Um, yeah, that's basically it. There's only one thing left for this meal to be perfect for somebody like me, and that's right here, sriracha. I'm not doing this without sriracha. So essentially, you want to get a good meal in before bed. You know, after your training, you want to uh, resupply your body with, you know, all your macros. Get some carbs in and get some protein and, you know, some good fats, even some vegetables. You know, I just don't have um, bell peppers for this meal today, so I don't have any vegetables. That's it for this video right here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have some fun with this food right here. It's, it's calling my name and everything. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm out, y'all.